And we're back. Welcome to the show. I'm Yanni Rood. And I'm just Terrell. You ever been out somewhere and overheard two people having crazy conversations? Well, we are those people, and we've been having these conversations since college. Yep, it's the Regular Guys Random Thoughts Podcast, Married at First Sight, Season 15 Recap. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. <laughs> I saw your that face. Was, that was pretty smooth, because you were trying to make sure you did not say the wrong episode. <laughs> so I just skipped it. I just was like... <laughs> I was like, is he going to get it? Is he going to? Yeah. It's episode You know five. what episode we're on. Yeah. You know what episode we're on. <laughs> you watched it. You know what episode we're on. <laughs> you saw it. You saw it last night. You know where we at. You saw it just like they saw the whales. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What an, uh, an interesting show as we're finally getting into the good stuff. Let's start off with Stasha and Nate. Um, and, you know, one of the things that I noticed when I, uh, I'm looking at this episode is that Nate was not ready to get married for so many reasons. I mean, think about it. One, he was definitely ready when he saw Stasha and was like, I like her. He wants to look at them breakfast cakes like, yes, yes. Who? <laughs> look at my cakes. Look at my pancakes. Look at my bacon. <laughs> look. <laughs> he, he, he was ready to go. But then when it was time to actually go and do something... He failed the test. What do you mean? So they go out on the ATVs and oh. he fails her test. She even gotcha. tells you exactly what she's... I want to see, is he going to look out for me? He didn't even help her put her equipment on, didn't check right. on her. He was too busy priming and propping in the mirror. AKA I thought you said he failed the test. I was thinking about that softcore porn. In the shower, and I'm like, okay, what happened? And then in the morning, when they were having breakfast, and he's has the camera looking at her butt, I thought that's what you're talking about. So I was like, yes, he failed the test on the ATVs uh, because he was really focused on himself. Mm -hmm. And it makes you wonder is he in this for himself? Because, you know, it's not like he can't use the followers. We know he can use the money because he's got debts. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it was crazy to see him lag behind, let her just keep going and stop because he wants to, we're in the jungle about to get eaten by snakes and anacondas and boa constrictors and lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Eye. I'm like, <laughs> put the goddamn phone down and pay attention to your wife. You got the prettiest wife, sexiest wife on the season, and you out here worried about getting likes on the gram. Yeah, well, that's just it. This is why, ladies, if you know you are smoking gorgeous... Date you a five. He's going to appreciate the shit out of you. <laughs> Nate's a good looking dude, but he gets girls like Stasia all the time. That's nothing new. Mm -hmm. But for those of us that don't get a Stasia, I'm like, okay, we're going to treat you like a queen. So, hey, <laughs> hey, queen, your highness. <laughs> yeah. Would you like me to carry your four wheeler for you? <laughs> we ride four wheelers together. I want you to put your arms around my waist. I got you. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> but I'm just saying, date a guy who's not used to getting a beautiful woman like you. Mm -hmm. He will treat you like a queen. Most Think cases. about this. He didn't even pick up. When they got done with the ride, she was she was throwing a couple jabs and throwing some hints at what. And he didn't catch any of those to the point that she had to just call him out about it. And when she was calling him about his action and him just leaving her to herself out there, he was so uninterested, just looking around like, mm. yeah. Uh, what is she saying? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's too early for the, in the marriage for this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> eat the cake, anime. Eat the cake. <laughs> just eat the cake. <laughs> I, I think that was that was definitely not a good look for him. I don't think he still picked up on it, and that's youth. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, you know, they do have a little bit of an age gap, but I think that's just youth. But the post-nup conversation. Yes. I thought that was, this is good. You ain't got any faith in your boy? Anyone who says that? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first sign. That was the confirmation for her. Like, you know what? This mama was right. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're right. Anybody who says they'd be like, yeah, no. Nah. Mm -mm. Like, nah, bro. No, sure don't. In fact, here's the documents right here. 
already have. <laughs> <laughs> but kudos to him because he was like, you know what? We just met. I'm cool with it. And rightfully so, because I, yeah, it's, it made me talk. And he's probably thinking, you know what? Wait, I'll be able to put it down tonight. She's going to change her mind. Uh-uh-uh. She's about her business. So you're going to sign that. Because she's already said, and he hasn't seen this yet, obviously, um, at this point. But she said, if he doesn't sign it, there's no way that she says yes on decision day. Mm-hmm. That's very important for her. And I, I like that she's, she laid that out early. Not to him, but she laid it out to us. <laughs> that, that's her plan. And so be yeah. it. So um, it, the interesting thing to me, though, was when it came down to the talk of kids. <clears throat> I know what he means. Like, oh, two, three years. But like he said, she's older. And, and he sure pointed that out. <laughs> well, you know, you're older. <laughs> you're a little bit more seasoned. But y'all old ass. You want kids in yeah. a year. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a really fresh grape. You're a raisin. So how are we going to make this work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> That's the only yeah, thing he missed a, out from that whole thing. <laughs> he's drinking mango smoothies and making her Metamucil in the morning. He's like, here you go. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh so, Lindy and Miguel, let's <laughs> just move forward. Before we get ourselves in trouble, let's move forward. Lindy and Miguel, I like that conversation at breakfast when it started. Um, because it looked like Miguel was listening intently while she was giving her whole background on the previous engagement and all that. But you thought she kind of talked too much. Lindy, come on, land the plane. You're circling the airport, land that plane. Get to the point. You know, kiss the baby, put it to bed. Let, let's go. She just are, takes Are these things you tell, tell your team? This is, this, this is how you motivate your team? Land the, land the plane, kiss people, the baby. Like, as they're telling me a story, I'm like, hey, hey, just you're circling the airport. Land the plane. Get to the point. <laughs> I got five minutes. I don't have time. <laughs> to listen to all the, I don't need all the extras. Just tell me the story and move on. But Lindy just, yeah, okay, hey, I was in this relationship. To, and it's, it's almost like when people tell those stories, it's like they try to justify Right. Everything that happened and add all this extra context. Just say, hey, met a dude, fell in love, lost my virginity to him. We both had different views of what we wanted to go. And so we kind of went our separate ways. But I say all that to say is I take having intercourse personally. Like this is, it's not just something to feel good for me. I want to be able to have that connection. It means a lot. Are we cool? All that. I did that in less than a minute. Mm -hmm. She was, and they edited what she <laughs> so you know there was more you know the, the thing that she could have definitely left out of it was the ring by spring first of all never heard that but i get it we didn't go to the same school <laughs> we didn't hang around the same people but uh that ring by spring thing would have had me thinking like so so basically you settled before is what it sounds like you just wanted to be married right it's six years later now. Okay, well, here we are. Because well, well, six years since they broke up. So, you know, hey. But yep. she wasn't feeling his responses um, when when they're having this deep conversation. Because he's just more like, yeah. Meh. Meh. Not giving much. It's like, you know, sex is, is cool, but it's also just something pleasurable. Two people do. I don't think it's this big, all but minimizing how she feels about intercourse. Right. And sex by saying, hey, I hear that. Uh, it's like, I see your opinion. I'm going to raise you mine. <laughs> <laughs> and it should overshadow yours. It should overshadow so should yours. So sex is just a physical act. <laughs> just about pleasure. No big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, and all that. So I, I totally get where she's coming from. You know what was really amusing to me? Was, mm -hmm. and not so amusing to Miguel... That's <laughs> when Lindy said, why are you so old? <laughs> when they were talking about the years they graduated high school, and he yeah. hated that joke. He hated it. He looked like he was like... <laughs> <laughs> gotta let that go, man. You gotta let that go. That happens. You know, he graduated, what, 2004? She was 2011. Yeah, he, no, he was 2003. So he, was he, was eight years, he was eight years older than her. 
Okay. So yeah. So I mean, that happens if you date. So I've dated people who are five or six years younger than me, and they make those jokes. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's eight. he's got to get over that. But his, oh, his face, he definitely did not like that at all. He was not feeling that. He was like, yeah, if your young yeah. ass don't get in this bed. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why women my age, they would have been in the bed already. <laughs> but I will say, great convo about their backgrounds. And, and, and I like the fact that they both agreed that arguing is not always a bad thing. Because I think people take arguing, and I think more, I think what they really meant though was disagreements, not really arguing. Because arguments are arguments, right? Yeah. But disagreements are not always a bad thing. It's okay to disagree because you can't always agree and be on the same page and have right. the same view. You and I have never had the same view all the time. I mean, we're also n- not married, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you for putting that out to the group. I'm glad that we got that. That's- Squared away. Before somebody's like, um, I knew it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, their whole dialogue, I thought, was weird. Mm. And it, it kind of goes back to what I said about them in the beginning. If you look at how Miguel grew up and everything that he's seen, mm-hmm. not only is he older than Lindy, he's leaps and bounds ahead of her. And just that he's seen an experience that she's not done yet. Mm-hmm. So it's just going to be kind of off. That's just because and he maybe knows. that can play to his favor, and maybe it won't because of the whole Dungeons and Dragons thing. Like no woman who's familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, she's not going to be like. In fact, I would love anyone comment if you're dating a man who's into Dungeons and Dragons and you're thumbs up about that. I would love to hear from that person. Like, tell me how that works. Exactly. Madden is okay. Dungeons and Dragons is not. Dungeons and Dragons. I didn't say anything about video games. <laughs> Doesn't if you're like in your mid thirties and you're having your friends come over for an imaginary party to talk about imaginary shit. No. <laughs> Look, but Miguel wanted to show that he wasn't that old when he broke out the old college massage trick to try and seduce her. Right? <laughs> so, oh, you got to shut her up. <laughs> That's how he shut up. You want a massage? <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember that move. <laughs> yeah. It's like, she's just talking about all her stuff. He's like, squirrel, you want a massage? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, coming up, we got to talk about Morgan and Ben, Alexis and Justin, and Kristen and Mitch. But first, got to let you know, this episode of Regular Guys Random Thoughts Podcast brought to you by Zipix Toothpicks. Zipix brings you a totally satisfying, convenient, and flavorful way to curb cravings, get a boost of energy, or simply relax at the end of your day. Now, as a former smoker, I can tell you that cravings are like the hardest thing to get over, and they can get pretty uh, 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 pricey, right? You know, trying to curb those uh, cravings. I wish Zipix was around then, man, because... Now there's an easier, cheaper, less messy, and more subtle way to curb your cravings with Zippix Toothpicks. The best part about Zippix is that you really can use them just about anywhere. With two milligrams per pick and some three milligram options, Zippix Toothpicks are long-lasting, extremely affordable, and available in six delicious flavor choices. Yep, speaking of flavors, this is sweet whiskey, and it's actually delicious. Mm. You know, I mean, it's just like a flavor. To me, it's like a flavor toothpick. I'm no longer a smoker, but I don't see this as a bad thing. And you can do it anywhere. I can be at the office. I can be at a restaurant. And it comes in these cool little containers, which just makes it so easy to carry around, put them in your pocket. But I think what makes it the best is the oral gratification, you know, um, on on top of the flavors. Just being able to do this when I was a smoker, I thought, what to do with my hands? Well, this helps with a little bit of that. I don't know what to do with my hands. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> also, what I like about them is they have other products. So if you need a boost of energy, they have their Zip Energy B12. And they also have caffeine toothpicks for those of us that are coffee lovers. You guys have seen me use Zipix uh, on the podcast. Now it's time to find out for yourself. Go to ZipixToothpicks.com today and use code RGRT to get 10% off your order. That's ZipixToothpicks.com, promo code RG. RT. Yep, must be 18 or older to purchase. Zip more, smoke less with Zipix toothpicks. Morgan and Ben, finally married, last episode. Here they are now um, doing this the, the same thing we've seen all the other four couples do. And really and truly, the producers have just got to stop making friends and family ask about sex. It's 
It's tired. It's played out. Stop it. It's annoying. And I'm like, that never really happened. I can't imagine Morgan's friends going, hey, so what's your expectations for the night? I don't see that happening at all. But I did think it was great that they had the kid conversation with Morgan and Ben's family. Mm -hmm. And then Morgan's bridesmaids and Ben. Mm -hmm. And I think that's going to be an interesting thing with this group or this couple to see where they stand on that. Because Morgan has some things she wants to do before she has children. Ben's ready. Yeah, he is. He wants to go half on a baby tonight. Well, think about it. He did say he wanted to get married before 30. He did, right? literally right before 30. So, you know, kudos to him. Um, he, he, he actually met that goal. But I got to take some points away. If, it was, if, we, if, this, if we were scoring this, I'd have to take points away from Ben when he asked her if she wanted to be Big Spoon or Little Spoon. No, no, no. There's never a question. Ben, come on. Man up, man. Man up. Well... I won't say man up. Just know your place. Some of us, we know we're big spoons. We'll never be little spoons. Some people are little spoons. Ben is a little spoon. I'm judging any man that's a little spoon unless it's with another man. Ben's a little spoon. That's just who he is. He's intimidated by the fact that she knows Muay Thai. Muay Thai, if I said it correctly. Uh, and he's nervous about that. I'm like, what's your deal? Ben Ben's right. got uh, muscles for show. Okay, <laughs> that's that's what we're finding out right now. He works out and doesn't know how to fight because he's afraid that she'll kick his ass. Played and simple, pretty much. And I'm like, dude, you're kind of being a little wuss right now. You know, what? I can't wait to hear what his mom thinks of Morgan because I don't think we heard that. Exactly. Yet. That's I'm waiting to hear that. That's going to be interesting. I will say I like their playful, um, their playfulness. Even when they were talking to the to the cameras, uh, the producers the next morning and everything else. I like how they were playing with each other and whatnot. That's cool. But one thing I noticed from the very beginning, he is really awkward around women or the cameras make him very nervous because he just seems he, he almost comes up like an eight year old around her. I maybe I think it's the camera. I'd have to I'm have to say that maybe it's the camera because you figure there's a whole lot going yeah. on in this reality show that's not reality. There's a whole lot going on. They're trying to position you here. Da, da, da. They cut, start over. All those things are possible. So I, I think maybe that's what. It so is. we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. We'll say he's not just that awkward around women, but it's just that cameras make him nervous. As the season goes along, he'll get more comfortable because they all say you forget that they're there. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm sorry I know Nate and Stassi didn't forget the camera was there they knew that camera was there of course there they did when they were in the show uh, it's Nate Nate <laughs> grab her leg <laughs> they couldn't have forgotten <laughs> smack that ass dude <laughs> um. <laughs> you know one of your favorite couples Alexis and Justin um, <laughs> J- Justin is, is whipped you see that well let's be honest we saw that at the altar Right. right. And we see it as it plays out every episode. So before we get into this part about Justin and my feelings about him, this whole time I kept trying to rewind and play and listen to Alexis say celibate. And I'm like, she did say celibate. I told you. Like, I heard it. So go ahead and tell me I'm right. Go ahead. Because she said it. She You're right. Go, You're right. Say it louder. She said celibate. I just thought I was like, eh. He's that it's, they couldn't have said it like that. No, she's in celibate. Yes. I thought it was funny. But why does she keep telling everybody? Morgan all of a sudden comes, hey, how you doing? This is Justin. He's celibate. <laughs> I just want to know why are none of these people correcting her? Like, hey, it's celibate. Pull it to the Hey, come come here. Come on. Stasha, this is where you're supposed to pull it to the side. Come on. Sister to sister. Home girl to home girl. Pull it to the side. Hey, it's celibate. Not celibate. No. Mm. Stasia could have said hey sister can I talk to you for a second <laughs> come over here in the back off camera girl it's celibate bit celibate say it Salmon. Uh, but so, no. <laughs> salmon uh, like so, oh fuck uh, it never mind <laughs> yeah fine just say it. you're right celibate Get it, go, go ahead live your life um Justin is way too in his feels with her. And I understand, right? Because they went on the show for a reason. Mm-hmm. He's always wanted this love and whatever. But it's one thing to say, hey, I'm really liking Alexis. I'm really digging this. But he's just, I'm in love with you. I was in love with you the moment I saw you down the altar. I'm like, you're going to turn someone off. 
that's just something you don't say in three days to somebody, especially somebody who is emotionally guarded. Mm-hmm. That's not the one you want to just pour your heart out to day three. However, she knew this. She said it before he even said it to yeah. her. She said, look, he hasn't said it, but I can look at him and the way he looks at me. I know he loves me. He's in love with me. She knew it. She knew she has him wrapped around her finger at that moment. And here's the thing about it. You've never had felt that there was such a thing as um, love at first sight, have you? Lust at first sight. Yes. I have really connected with someone right at first sight. And it was like I was all in. But didn't say I loved him. No, I'm not saying you say you love him. I mean, you'd scare the shit out of him. Um, but but did you, have you ever met somebody and, and went, I can fall in love with this person? Yes. That's where he is. He just he just hit the fast, you know, when you hit that fast forward button a couple of times and it's times 10. That's that's all he did. Yeah. You know, he he went he went full throttle on that one. I was just like, you should you got to calm that down a little mm-hmm. bit. And then that sensitive side came out when he almost started crying. And she was just like, I'm not ready to say that yet. And I'm just like, dude. Like, why dude. Why did he cry? And, and he cried. And like like she told him, no, I don't love you. And I never will. Get out of here, you tall, lanky bastard. And so he cried. <laughs> but that's not even what she said. <laughs> and to the point where he yes. was, she was like, he was like, well, I feel like you love me. So you don't even have to say it. So what the hell are you crying for? I'm trying to understand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His brother's looking at this like, God. Yeah. I can't go to the barbershop yeah. for another three months. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm thinking of that movie, Major Pain. Sensitive. <laughs> he is just sensitive. Yeah. Um, it's great. I'm not knocking this field. All I'm saying is slow it down a little bit, especially if you're dealing with someone who's not the same level. Now, she was throwing herself at him the way he's all about her. Total different story. You see, the thing about it for me, especially because he's like, everything's perfect so far, everything's perfect so far. That's for me when I get nervous because nothing is perfect and that's when you should be, hmm, what's going to go wrong? Not saying it's the right way to think about it, but that's where my brain works, right? That's not the way his goals, his goals, Wait, I know the pedal. I know the gas is on the floor, but I can push a little further. There's more to give, and that's all he's doing, right? Um, but I will say, it's good because it's almost it's making her be a little bit more sensitive. Like she's always guarded. Yeah. She said that, um, but it's one of those things that I think we've all been through. Be, being afraid to be vulnerable, right? It's one of the re- main reasons that a lot of relationships fail, and, and because right. it, they were never really given a chance because. I know there were times when I was afraid to be vulnerable. I'm sure you have too. But I'm not vulnerable like day two. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like, I agree. You got to be vulnerable, but you don't go second date and be like, can I talk to you about my dad? Like, you just don't get this deep. Like- ain't second date. They're married. <laughs> you want them to give it up on the first night. Because they're married. This man has made a commitment that no other man has made before. Then... Yeah, he can afford to, to dive into his fields. Because I I agree with Miguel that, you I know, it's, it's that. just physical. <laughs> it's just going to feel good. <laughs> it's not cathartic. Like, it's not like <laughs> getting something out of that. Uh. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I get it. It's great. He's in his fields, in his motions. But you got to check that a little bit. And I think you just should in general. Not just because you're on a reality mm. show, but just in general. You just can't day two, day three. I, I, and I don't get me wrong. I say this because I've done mm-hmm. it and I know it doesn't work <laughs> because it's blown up in my you face. You just scare the shit out of so, people when you do that. I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> I'm like, don't do it. Don't ever say it. It'll ruin it all. Don't. Oh, just like saying, you know what? We're not ready for this yet. <laughs> Ruined. Uh, Ruined. You got to go back and catch that. I forget which episode was on, but oh my God, it's a nice story. Maybe we'll get Taylor to share it sometime later down um, the line. Maybe. Um, Kristen and Mitch. Uh, Mitch shared a whole lot mm. on this episode. Uh, but the first thing I noticed is besides his hat. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't know how old Mitch was, you knew it when he put the hat on to go to go paddleboarding, right? <laughs> but I will say the good thing about him is at least he didn't leave his wife by herself like 
Nate did Stasha and even prepped her before they got out on the paddle boards. They even took her out. Yeah. Took her out a couple times. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now he got her out there. They, they, they took her there try to sideswipe her. <laughs> yeah. Totally did. And she took it like a champ, too. I thought they had a really good chemistry, mm-hmm. right? When they were hanging out, you know, uh, stand up paddle boarding the whole bit. I thought they just vibe. I feel like they do vibe. I think Mitch is in his head mm. about all of this. And it, it, I feel bad for Kristen. You should, because, you know, he totally missed her saying the pinky promise is their version of the kiss. Or maybe he didn't miss it and he just was like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> You're right, it is. That's going to be the way I kiss you from now on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, again, I think he's in his own head because Kristen's attractive. Mm-hmm. But way too attractive can't for him, do is, actually. Very much so. Like he, she is a step up for him. But how do you call your boy and be like, I'm not attracted to her? And you and I, we've known each other a long time. I've had some conversation with you, and but I never have told you, yeah. But going out with this girl, I don't find her attractive. She's nice. I just don't find her attractive. And then, hey, let's get some tequila shots and see what happens. <laughs> you know, I haven't done that. But for for Mitch to kind of send those big signals because. A, if you're not attracted to her, you'd never tell her that. Like, why would you have told her that? Okay, so that was my question because think about it. She went to dinner with expectations of a little affection, hand holding, maybe some kisses, whatever. Um, and Mitch was pinky swearing the whole way and telling her that she's unattractive. And my thing is, and I guess you already answered it because I actually wrote a note. How would you handle a situation if you're just not physically attracted to her after you've already said I do? Would you tell her or would you wait to see if that grows? I would wait to see if it grew Mm -hmm. because there's a difference of I'm not attracted to you because you look like a troll (laughs) compared to you're not the normal type of person. I go, you're attractive, but you're not my normal Mm -hmm. type. Right. And I think there could be that, that someone is attractive. Uh, I mean, they're not going to put just anybody on TV. So, you know, there's going to be some beauty to them, but it might not be your norm, mm. but you get to know her and then you realize this is why they matched us. But I would never have said that. Part of it is when you make this kind of commitment to get married at first sight, you've got to make that commitment to jump all the way in, right? I mean, think about it. You don't know this person. You don't know. Anything. I mean, now, now, Graham, the person's got funky breath and you're just like, yeah, there's no way I can get close to this person. I get that part. If they don't wear deodorant, they're like, you're just funky all the time that, that oh, well, I like to go all natural, which actually Mitch might have probably liked that a lot better. But <laughs> but at the same time, if it's nothing like that, then you, you owe it to yourself and to us because we're spending our time in this and we can't get the time back. And by us, I mean everybody that's watching the show. At least put forth an effort. You've got to at least put forth. And it doesn't really seem like he was putting forth an effort until he got some courage use. So I've only seen, this is my third season. Mm-hmm. So there's 12 other seasons I never watched. But will. Has there ever been a really unattractive person? Because again, I'm thinking it's TV. They're not just going to put some chupacabra looking chick or dude on TV. So has there ever been one where just like, you know, Twitter, yourself, anybody, they're like, oh, did you see so-and-so? Good God. What was his name? It was it was season one, Jamie and, um, and I forget her husband's name, but when she came down the aisle, um, oh, she, uh, whoo, she cried. She cried. It was Jamie and um, who was she married to? Jesus Christ. Doug, Jamie and Doug. And when it's not that he, and again, it's not that he was dog ugly, but she saw him and started crying. Which, you know, mm. yes, you would love for your wife as she's coming down the aisle to cry when she sees you. <laughs> but not for the reason she oh, was shit. crying. <laughs> that was her. Yo, I said, you just got to go right. look at. Do you like Cuba Gooding Jr. and Boys in the Hood? Just. I mean, she cried before the wedding. She cried after the wedding. You, if, if, if it's one thing you owe yourself to see is that. But this is the couple that actually later on she found them attractive and, and yeah. they stayed they, together, they're, right? They're married with three kids now, or so three, or, three or four kids or something like that now. I mean, they're still they're still going strong. 
So they're the number one okay. success story from this, especially from the way it started. So this could turn around, as, as you saw it did in this episode, um, after some tequila shots. But, you know, tequila has that magic power, man. Yeah, but you can't send mixed signals like that to somebody. You can't say, I'm not attracted to you during the day. And then now you had a couple tequila shots. You're like, what's up? <laughs> yeah. And I like the fact that she doing? called about on it and said, had you not, yeah, it was cool, but had you not told me that earlier, we probably would have done it because she right. was ready. She was down. She wanted this. But after you tell her that, I'm actually surprised she even allowed that to happen. I am so surprised she allowed that to happen. She had some tequila, too. Well, that, so, that's true. You know, she got a little, little moist mm. and decided that she <laughs> Get a little. You need Mitch in your life, and you need some Mitch, and you need some Mitch. <laughs> oh, the night of tequila, <laughs> right? So tequila could have had that effect on her, but I do like the fact that she called him out on that, mm-hmm. and the fact that she said, "Hey, if we get to decision day, yep, and we've not had sex, yep. we've not had this, I'm gonna definitely say no." Um, so good for her, you know, for having that conversation. But I, I still think he threw her head for a loop. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he definitely did. Day. Um, and he's he should be thanking his lucky stars, and hopefully make and maybe this is the turnaround for them because you know what? they could turn out to be the best couple out of it all just because they get through this little phase and they move on, right? Because at any point in time, you you may find something about somebody that's not there, then all of a sudden you're like you get past. Again, you said it was mental, probably mental, probably him fighting himself. Get past that block, it's on to the next thing. I, I think you could be right. Um, because the other thing I just thought of just now when you said that is they had a really tough conversation. Their conversation isn't, you know, what's your views on finances? What's your political views? The conversation was, hey, look, you're a really awesome person, not attracted to you. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I know you're feeling it. <laughs> I'm not there yet. You know, you want some more nachos? Like, you know, it's just, that's a real conversation. <laughs> and so if they can get through that, I think you can get through anything. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's going to be interesting. We'll be back again next week for um, episode six when, you know, it looks like we're, we're, we're going to start getting some fireworks real soon with the drama that you want to see. I mean, they gave us this is a, a torch today, but I think what we Make also see is something I told you from the get go that Justin can't play basketball. He was tall for absolutely no reason. <laughs> Look, what kind of defense was that? His feet were like cement. <laughs> Maybe he's just out of shape. He's been out of practice. You can tell he doesn't do push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> so he skips leg day, chest day, arm day, just all of it. <laughs> he skips whole body day. <laughs> <laughs> because women just see him as a piece of meat. <laughs> Because he's just a piece of meat. Why work on this? It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, don't forget, we've got 90 Day Fiance. That's wrapping up, but we still do drop that on Sundays. Um, we're almost at the end of this season as all those couples are getting married. You know, they should just get these two shows together, make it married in 90 days. <laughs> <laughs> And then, of course, Monday, we're back with our regular episode, audio version. Tuesday, we drop the video. And then again, next Thursday. I know it comes out on Wednesday, but due to scheduling, we got to drop this on Thursdays from here. Thursday, we'll drop our next Married at First Sight, episode six, season 15, San Diego. Yeah, I can't wait to be done with it. 90 Day Fiance, I can't wait to knock that off. Because again... Every time I watch that show, I'm like, football season is almost here. <laughs> and for those asking about 90 Day UK, uh uh-uh. <laughs> No. No. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Hey, I'm Yanni Root. And I'm Just Terrell. Make sure you follow us at Yanni Root, at Just Terrell, and at RGRT Pod. Yeah, send us some of your random thoughts or some of the bullshit you find on the internet. We'll talk about it on the regular show. It's the Regular Guys Random Thoughts Podcast. Cheers. Cheers.